G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. So, last episode we managed to get our gears up and running and on a bus. We got our green circuits up and running and on a bus. We also managed to get our workshop placed down and have it start producing things and technically it's also on the bus. So, this episode, this episode we need to do a few things. Um, first off, everything up here, well, it needs to be re-automated. So we need to get a, another, we need to get a red and a green science put in down here fed off the bus so we can retire these at the same time we've got our uh gun turrets our miners our assemblers uh inserters belts green circuits all this automated except for ammo so ammo is part of the military build which would be the next science pack we'd be unlocking and the next science pack we'd have up and running also at the same time i want to decommission basically this i want to cut it off and in fact actually we're going to do it like that by just deconstructing that belt with alt d to bring up the deconstruction planner which stops that belt moving which means eventually it'll burn through all this copper in saying that every one of these smelters does have a hundred copper in it potentially um oh you've only got 33 and you've got zero but it does have all this copper ore it needs to bleed through so this is going to take some time so with that out of the way uh we're going to run the intro and then we'll start getting running on red and green sites mark two So, with that out of the way, uh, first thing we want to do is grab Jetty's Big Book of Science, because Big Book of Science is really helpful. We want to get a red science and a green science. Now, because these are designed to be built north, and I want to build them south, I'm going to do them in reverse order. So, I'm going to put down the green science, then the red science, and actually probably slide them down a whole bunch. I need to leave a decent amount of room on the bus, and or for the bus, because we've still got a few more items we need to add to the bus. Uh, one of them being steel, which we got some early steel that we hand fed early on but um we're gonna need steel for military build which is the next build at the same time the workshop would love some steel and has none so far so yeah we've got a couple of things we need to do at the same time uh one other thing we might have to do this episode is pollution is bad uh these guys are definitely in the pollution cloud these guys are in the pollution cloud as well which means we have a tax coming down on the right hand side we've also got a tax coming through here so yeah we need to do something about pollution so uh first things first we need to bring iron actually first things first let's get the power poles done because they're the easiest just run through the build make sure you start putting on a power pole and then you should be able to run through and do the rest automatically and hook that into there so first thing we need oh actually let's, let's get the assemblers done as well because they're quick well reasonably quick until you run out that's fine uh so we need to get iron into inserters so we're going to bring this belt up till we find our iron line right there we're going to put one of those in copy and paste the uh splitter setting whoops across uh iron done now i do, this is set up let's rotate that uh this is set up to bring in iron here and bring in iron here one of the things you can do with this blueprint is run it underground from there to there move the power pole put in a splitter there and a splitter there and just avoid running a second belt of iron same purpose just you know saves you a little bit these blueprints are designed to be um uh user friendly I was going to say idiot proof, but you know, as soon as you make something idiot proof, the internet goes and makes a better idiot. So yeah, they're designed to be very, very user friendly. So, you know, there, there is a little bit of redundancy built into them. Uh, we're going to fill in that belt and that belt. We need green circuits for the inserters. We need that inserter, that inserter, that inserter, that inserter, that inserter, and that inserter. We also need two wooden boxes. Craft two of those, one there and one there. We also need gears down the middle to make both these actually function, which is over here, uh, which is going to lead to a problem. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to underground that, underground that, and underground that, which will give us uh, leave us room to run gears through and continue that straight through. All right. That'll let us get a complete belt in there and a complete belt in here. Uh, and that'll start that production running. Now, as for assemblers, let's see how the thing I needed. Assemblers, 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 assemblers. Uh, we'll grab a stack of assemblers. Hang on. Uh, let's also grab half that box and half that box. I'm holding that control to grab half a box at a time and just look at these numbers and making sure they, they all look pretty high. Okay, so we need to put in all the assemblers for 
Red sites. Uh, actually, that's what I want to do. And I also want to craft five, five, five. Mm, maybe the last five is too many. Ten. Ten lamps. Ten lamps seems like a good amount. Uh, we need to get in all the inserters for these guys so they start running at least. Uh, so, red sites. We already covered that already with all our red sites. We already covered that when it comes to automation science. It needs copper and it needs gears. We do have gears right here. And again, rather than running another belt off the main bus, I'm going to run that belt across to there, which means rather than putting in copper on the left and gears on the right, uh, I'm going to put in copper on the right, which we're going to drag up till we find a copper belt, which is about here somewhere. And like I said, I find it easier to run the belts across and then put in the undergrounds after the fact. Okay, so that gets us copper, that gets us gears, which should get red science up and running. Last thing we need is some labs. Again, if we go to the big book of science, which is full of all sciencey things, it has a lab set up for us. So this is designed to, in theory, it's actually designed to take in the science from the right hand side. I'm gonna run it backward, which means I need to reverse a whole bunch of things, but that should be fine. I'm gonna build it just above our guns. Uh, that one. And uh, that's too far. You go away. All right, bring our, our science pots down, bring them around here, and we're gonna bring them into that belt. Now, this science build is designed to take in six science packs, being your red and green, being your automation and your logistics. Then it's gonna take in your military and your chemical science on the second belt. Finally, it's gonna take in the Production science and utility science on the far belt. Now, first thing I need to do is these were all put down backwards, so I need to hover my mouse over each one and press the R button to rotate them. Uh, undergrounds don't rotate in 90 degrees, they rotate in 180 degrees, so that's nice and easy. Next thing we need is power, there, there, and there. Uh, then we need some yellow inserters through this build. Oh, let's lay the power in as we run up. Yep, and then inserters on the way back. Uh, and then finally the labs, sure. Uh, we're our labs, that's perfectly fine. So that should get us a lot more science pumping into this build, okay? We still have these labs up here, which are working independently of these labs, which is perfectly fine because we really want both sets running. Uh, same time, next thing we really need to do is we need to prep for military science, which is that one. The way these are designed, as I said, is to work with the science after them, and they're designed to be built in the north. Because I'm building them south facing, I want to actually put in our chemical science, and then I want to put the military science hard up against it. Now, going through my blueprint, I can see I need brick, I need copper, I need iron, I need steel, I need coal, and I need iron again, okay? Sounds pretty easy. The only part I'm going to build for right now is I'm going to build the ammo. That failed. Copy, paste. There we go. Uh, yeah, the putting down power poles is not 100% guaranteed, but you know, it's 98% it's guaranteed. All right. So I'm the only thing I want to get up and running is I want to get this guy up and running. Uh, you still don't have power. Why? Oh, because that's too far from there. There we go. All right. This is the only thing I want up and running. Uh, I want to get automated ammo production because our previous little jump starter base is still making ammo. That's the only thing it's making that's still critically important that I can't retire it. And unfortunately, I need to retire it. I need to retire it now. Uh, I'm going to move you... I'm going to put you over here with a friend there with two ammo. That's not a lot. Uh, give you 20. Give you 20. All right, I'm going to bring this belt along. I have no idea where this belt is. Oh, it's down there. Drag this belt up. Uh, put in a splitter. Research is done. Okay, give me a sec research. We just want to put that belt in. Okay, so research. Lots of choices. First thing I want is weapon shooting speed because I do not have military up and running, okay? Weapon shooting speed is going to be absolutely the top most priority item because I want to be able to shoot things quicker. At the same time, we're going to probably get lab research speed. 
So in the tech, okay, we've got landfill. I don't need landfill. I have advanced material processing, which lets me make uh, steel furnaces, which are great because they consume, they, they smelt things twice as fast, but consume the same amount of fuel. Technically means they make half the amount of pollution, technically. Um, I'd love that because our pollution cloud is fairly big, but they require steel and they require brick. We don't have steel, we don't have brick. We have the circuit network. As we covered earlier, I'm actually using circuits already without the research, so I don't really need that. We have gates, which are handy only if you have walls, because I don't have walls, I don't need gates. We have lab research speed, which just makes research go faster. We have oil processing. Oil processing would be really handy if... If I pressed M to open map view, these guys weren't here and we had oil. I don't have oil. Uh, electric, uh, electric, dis well, electric energy dis distribution one. Yeah, I'll get the words around the right way. Eventually it is 2 a.m. I do want to mention um, this requires steel to make better power poles. I don't have steel. Uh, we have logistics too, which gives us better belts. These belts move 30 items per second compared to the current ones moving 15 items per second. But they cost a lot of a lot of iron. I don't have a lot of iron. Our iron patch and uh, our starting zone is running out. Uh, we have weapon shooting speed. Weapon shooting speed makes uh, you go through bullets faster. It also technically increases the damage to uh, the the DPS, so it is a good upgrade. But yeah, uh, we have solar panels. Solar panels would be really good, except they require steel. I don't have steel. Uh, combat robotics, they could be, actually, they could be really handy. Oh, no, they require military research. Forget that. Uh, next ones require military research. I don't have military research. So we're at weapon shooting speed, and then we're basically out of useful tech. Useful tech. There are other options, but none of them are exactly useful. So what I want to do is I want to get this guy down here. I want to cap you to 200 rounds. And first thing I want to do is I want to put a gun beside it. So the idea is we're going to bring in iron here. We're going to start making ammo. We're going to put the ammo in the box. And then we're going to put the ammo in the gun. Now, the other thing about ammo and guns is it's one of the few items like labs where you can daisy chain. So because I do not have any very good defenses down here currently, yes, I am using all the best English at 2am in the morning, I am going to uh, daisy chain myself a little pile of guns just to make sure if anything comes down here, it doesn't hit my precious ammo supply. So that's that done. We've got iron running. We've got what we can build of military up and running. Next couple of things we're going to need is bricks, desperately, uh, which means we need to decommission this. And to decommission... Oh, and I also need to repair that and repair those and put some more ammo in these probably. Uh, 13, 9, 10. Yes, okay. You can have some ammo, and you can have some ammo, and you can... Whoop, you can have some ammo, and you can have two lots of ammo. Alright, uh, repair pack, that one, that one. Uh, repair pack on these guys. Going by the amount of corpses you're dealing with, you could definitely do with more company. Uh, nope, that one. One, two, one, two, one, two. Sure. All right. So we can decommission this build, basically. I'm done with it. I want to stop setting it iron, bring the iron that way instead, clear that out. And as it, just start decommissioning this. So the best thing I can always recommend is pick up the inserters first. Okay. The inserters will, if you do not pick up everything else like I just did, yeah, they'll put stuff on the ground. They've got no reservation putting stuff on the ground. So we want to try and grab all the inserters first. So we stop putting raw materials into buildings and on the ground, potentially. Uh, now, this is going to potentially kill off parts of this little base. So obviously, we're not putting any more inserters or any more belts into these boxes. So eventually, this science will run out. At the same time, we're not uh, putting more gears in here to keep red science running. I'd really like to take all the gears I have currently and put them in that box and make them go away and make this science keep running a little bit longer. Same time, I'm going to remove that and we're going to remove that. Last thing I'm going to do is going to I'm going to put in a splitter and I'm going to filter out brick to left. Okay, this is intentional because I want to start smelting brick and I want to start smelting brick yesterday and actually let's have it filter to the right 
and then we'll put that belt like that. Yes. I want to start smelting brick yesterday, and obviously this is still has a whole bunch of copper in it that I'd really like to get rid of, but I do not really want to pick up, pick it up and run it in my inventory. So, we need to start upgrading this to a brick smelter. Uh, we're going to need to go all the way back to the belt that I marked for deconstruction. That one. Uh, yeah, pro tip, if you mark a belt for deconstruction, it stops moving. Really, really handy when you try and do things across the base. So, oh, bad jetty. Cool. Uh, military. Grenades. That's what I want. Okay. So, I want to get rid of these guys, obviously. And all that stone. We're going to take all that stone. And I'm literally just going to start throwing it machine, uh, in smelters. So, we're going to start getting some brick up and running. There we go. So, we're going to start getting brick. That'll get filtered out this way. The rest of this copper will hopefully get filtered up the north, where hopefully red sides will deal with it. I honestly know that it's not going to be able to deal with all this copper. We're going to end up picking up some copper and moving it down to the copper smelters by hand. Uh, that gun needs to go away. It needs to go up there. We need to give it 20 rounds. All right. Miners. So, my awesome tiny itty bitty stone patch needs to get covered with miners and then we need to plug that into our smelter uh, we're going to put that belt there we're going to put that belt there we're going to run power across the back down the middle uh, around the outside come on and tag that in there all right we need to obviously combine these two together and run that belt into there. Now, a couple of other things I need to cover when it comes to a stone smelter. Stone, well, a brick smelter. Brick requires two stone to in, in 3.2 seconds, okay? Whereas our iron and our copper up until that we've been using up until now require one ore every 3.2 seconds, which means that as you feed in your, uh, your stone and your coal, that this stone is only going to make it up to the 12th furnace. It's not going to make it any further than that, okay? Um, at the point it's got to the 12th furnace, uh, 12th furnace, it's already used up half a belt's worth of stone. So what we need to do is we need to put in a booster line halfway along, which requires us to put in a splitter right there with a belt. And thanks, research. We'll get back to you in a second. And put in a second one that comes up to the 12th smelter and feeds in like so yeah as i said the stone doesn't make it further occasionally one might slip through but two might slip through stop making me a, a liar game but yes essentially this is all the stone you get okay or all the brick you get all right from there on you need to have a second booster line we've just added a second booster line the catch is i only have 21 miners i don't even have enough for a full belt oh wow that's a lot of corpses already uh yeah, we need to do something about defenses. Okay, so we've got brick. Uh, brick would be handy. That's all the way up there. That's there. That's there. We have so many problems we need to deal with. Uh, north is not one of them right now, but I did notice that our coal line is dead. Yeah, we need to go do something about coal as well. Okay, let's go, go see what the story is with coal. The story is with coal is this miner and this miner are both run out. And the other ones are, they've got power, they're trying their hardest, there's just um, not nearly enough coal to go around. So we're going to fill in that row, we're going to fill that full of coal, I'm going to put in a fast inserter, I'm going to put in a power pole, and then we have a new problem we need to deal with. Uh, there's not enough room. So... Because I put down the coal, and then the copper, and then the iron, and then the copper all separately, I, as you can see, my miners are running into one another. So, we need to very, very carefully uh, sort of plan things around one another. So, with the use of some creative undergrounds and some power poles right here in the middle, along with a power pole there and a power pole there, I can get everything powered and all the coal fed out yes okay 
Next thing we need is because definitely some of these are going to have a mix of iron, uh, of copper and coal on them. I am going to feed them into that, which should split the coal and the uh, copper away from one another. Make sure the coal is fed down here and the copper passes straight through. Next up, because we have miners on us and we've already run out of coal, got low on coal once, we're going to put in the last line of coal. And that covers our starting patch, apart from a little bit more copper that we could probably pull out of it. Uh, put that in there, put that in there, and then run this belt, which we're going to, again, park into the rear of this. Uh, not recommending you park it into, a, into an inserter, for reasons. Uh, we're going to park that in there. We're going to make sure your input priority is the right, because I want to make sure that if there's coal on this belt, it gets used first. And we should be good. Uh, next thing we want to do is I'm just going to steal that and shove that right in there. Yes. And then again, because we've got the miners on us, we're going to finish filling out our copper patch. Uh, bring that down to there. Bring that across to there. Okay. Uh, our copper patch, we're relying on the fact that this miner, move belt, this miner can mine everything underneath it, plus all the tiles in front. This can mine everything underneath it, plus all the tiles in behind. So technically we've got full coverage. They're not crammed up against one another like they've been in a lot of the other times, but you know, we technically have full coverage. Uh, you do not have inserters. That's unfortunate. I was sort of hoping this build was complete. Uh, I need this build running because of the way we're prioritized. It turns out I'm out of those. Uh, the way we prioritize the copper, I need this build running. I need it consuming the copper so the coal doesn't back up on the other belts. So we're just going to quickly build another smelter block. Uh, that one. Until I run out of inserters. Uh, where do I run out of power poles? Over here. Yeah, that one and that one. Okay. Uh, we're going to take that one down. We're going to feed it in at the bottom. Move you up a tile. Doesn't matter because we're really not using the copper fast enough. Uh, that's the thing with factory. You, you go through a lot more iron than you do copper. Research. That was the other thing we had to do. So we're going to do lab research speed one because we can. We're going to unlock oil. With oil comes a whole lot of red and green science. So we're going to get our sulfur production. We're going to get our plastic production. We're going to get explosives production, which will lead us to cliff explosives, which I'll be happy to have and batteries and that fills up the research queue we're literally just burning through research for the fun of it because i need to have coal and steel and all sorts of things to run military which are not going to happen in this episode no um yeah we got red and sorry and red and green science moved we can see by the pile of dead corpses that there's definitely friends coming in this way we've got military started we've got bricks started actually that's something we might do Okay, 70 belt. I'm going to go grab some more belt. And actually, I want to dump some of the stuff I have in my inventory physically into this build. So you're making mining drills, uh, which were not capped, it turns out. Uh, yep. Uh, you're making assembly machines. Again, I'm just going to top... Do we not have... Oh, there we go, 50. Yeah, I don't need those on me. Uh... I can make another grenade, and oh, I want a belt. That's the other thing I wanted whilst I was here. Uh, belt, and probably undergrounds. Okay. So whilst we're here, we're going to run one more belt through it to our bus. So we have designed to have four lanes of iron up to here. All right. The next thing we're going to want is this brick line. I'm going to need this brick line to get walls made, which you would think with the amount of attacks I've had coming in up until now that I would have done something about walls a little bit earlier, and we haven't. So walls are going to go there. Uh, again, leaving a two-lane gap on the bus between it and iron. We're going to chop down a tree. And 
go from there to chop down another tree. Bye. I really want cliff explosives. Like, it takes a lot of bad luck to have, you know, a cliff in the middle of your bus. Um, I that or it takes a lot of pre-planning on my end to have pretty much the worst start possible. Like, there is not a lot of starting resources. There's not a... Uh, well, there's a cliff in the middle of the... Um, patch even though i turned up the distance before i find a biter i still have biters like literally just outside my base so yeah uh we can pretend that we can pretend it's a really bad start or we can be more honest and say yeah jenny intentionally chose a really bad start to show you guys that even if it's really really bad you can live through it so we're going to bring down our bricks, which we're going to turn to walls. Really? I have no inserters. Okay, it looks like we're using fast inserters. Uh, okay, and in theory... Okay, bing bing means something got broken. Yeah, one gun died. Oh, your friends are out of ammo. Cool. All right, let's get just this part done then. Uh... We're going to bring our walls along to here. And what I have here is our storage system, which, again, I don't have any normal inserters. And what we're doing is we're having our armor PC ammo and bricks will be on the same belt. And what I want to actually do is when I come down around here, I want to filter the ammo to the left, which is going to go in here, possibly store up to 800 ammo. In here is going to be walls, which technically i want unlimited because we're gonna want a lot of walls um obviously we can see there's already quite a number of neighbors around the map uh speaking of neighbors i want that chest yoink yeah there's a lot of neighbors around the map and there's a lot of neighbors that i need to talk politely to and ask them politely to go away and explain to them that it's really our planet not theirs so yeah, we're going to want all the walls we can possibly get our hands on. Um, so, with that out of the way, let's get these guys refilled, these guys re uh Replace that guy entirely. Uh, and because he's already been taken out once, we'll give him some extra friends. Uh, okay, one, two, one, two... Uh, you got 13 ammo, so you could definitely do with more. You've got 18, but you can have more. That didn't work. There we go. More anyway. Uh, 21. 10. 10. Okay, that'll do us. So, fix what we can, improve what we can. We're bleeding this of copper still. As you can see, it is slowly working its way up. Unfortunately, I didn't think about that. Uh, the bricks are sliding their way in. The copper can't get out. Okay, I'm going to have to just manually remove copper from most of those. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm going to put a inserter here with a chest. And we're going to fill it full of copper and let it empty the chest. All right. So, with all that said, this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Okay. With managed to get bricks up and running we've managed to replace red and green sites we've managed to rip up our jump starter base at the same time we've got military build at least planned out but it means next episode definitely i'm going to have to take all my grenades uh all my grenades definitely whatever ammo i can afford which is hopefully going to be a significant amount if this little guy will keep up hang on let's go have a look at him he is short on iron you know what we do? We can give you some faster inserters, which throw iron at the problem faster. Okay, so we're going to need to take this, probably take our walls as well. I think I need to go deal with this because it's just going to drain our ammo. At the same time, I do need to go capture this. Our next coal production or our next coal patch is down here. It's safe enough that I could probably... Oh, gosh. Nah, they should deal with them. I hope. Come on. Come on. Hurry up, guys. Yeah. And then the one straggler. Bloop. Cool. Um, our next coal patch. Our next coal patch is safe enough that we can go grab it. 
which means we'll start producing pollution down here, which will mean I will have to defend the hell out of it and probably clear these guys at the same time. But the one thing we're desperate on at only 257,000, I know that sounds like a lot, it really isn't, is iron. Uh, oh, I have these choices as well. And see those. Uh, maybe that's a better choice. In fact, what we might do is we might put a single radar down here. Which is so undefended. And let it do some exploring and see if this is a better option. Anyway, with all that said, this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. At the same time, if you learned something along the way or... Uh, well, if you learned something along the way, I'd appreciate it if you left a like along with uh, clicking the subscribe button. If you're interested in some of the blueprints I've used, you uh, there are links up top right hand corner to the relevant videos that they... they were explained in but at the same time you can always jump on our discord server and grab the latest blu blueprints from there with all that said thank you guys so, so much for watching do hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one all right bye